What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna continue building this record smashing roller coaster. Has the tallest roller coaster, longest most likely, and I think fastest too. But anyway, this is part two. If you haven't watched part one and you would like to, click the tag um, in the top right corner that is on screen right now to go watch that. And we will continue in a few days with episode three, but Oh man, can I just say, I love this music. I, lo I say this every episode of any any series that I do on Planet Coaster, but I love this soundtrack. The soundtrack is incredible. I, I don't know why I like it so much, but it's just so nice and kind of calm and stuff. But anyway, to the roller coaster, I have no idea what, what I was doing here. Honestly, I kind of hate it. Um, definitely comment down below, like I said in episode 1. If you want me to change this part, after that camelback, that huge, whatever you even call it, that huge airtime hill camelback thing, um, definitely comment down below. I think I should change it because, um, honestly, I'm not liking it too much. But this is what we have so far. Uh, another POV. This is sped up times 4, again, like last episode, so you aren't really going this fast. Uh, it's just to keep the episode moving, make sure it's not boring. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that made it into the final cut of the coaster, but I really don't like that. Um, I think it should just be a bang turn, and then you go into the next portion of the ride. But this episode is where we get a lot of stuff done, and it's a great episode, so definitely watch it to the end. Alright? As you can see right now, I'm trying to smooth out this portion of track because that was just an absolute awful transition. I think that if I just continue this as a bank turn and we do like the, a line of huge camelbacks or something, that would be so much more fun than whatever just happened right here. Um, the more I watch this and the more I see me build this, it makes me want to go back and change it. But I'll let that up to you guys because, you know, some of you might like it. Um, but anyway... I have no idea what I'm doing right now, um, but I kind of made it worse for myself. I was trying to make like an airtime hill, which really didn't work out, uh, but I took the twisty s twist section, or however you want to call it, um, the almost like an S-curve type thing, I took that off of it. Then I continued banking it, um, and then we try and straighten it out, and this is where things get really weird. I don't know what I was doing right here. But here you're going to drop, um, and you drop actually into brakes, which I don't know what I was thinking or why I did this. So you go into some friction brakes, and then I take you into a block section, alright, and then you start a second cable lift, which you'll see what I'm doing here in a second, but... I, I don't know what I was doing, and I honestly think that we should have made it just a one one chain lift type of deal. But here I went traditional Giga, tried to get it as close as Millennium Force, uh, Millennium Force's height as possible, and I did this kind of Millennium Force style thing. But this this frame rate is just oof, it's not that great. This is again on my old computer, but anyway. We're going down now. I forget what angle of descent this is. Again, this is sped up. Definitely does not go this fast. Uh, but it's kind of neat seeing the other chain lift as you go up. I might say that. But other than that, I think that you have enough speed that you should be able to you know, go out, go through a full course of the ride and not need a second chain lift, or a cable lift in this case. Yeah, that goes way over 100 miles an hour. This, yeah, I think this might be the fastest. I can't really read it. Frame rate so bad. But that, that was such a small portion of the ride and it completely slows you down. I think that we could have had a full ride and actually uh, let it go back up to the station because the station actually is a hundred hundred eight feet up off the ground um, but I definitely don't like this second chain lift <laughs> the more I watch this and this again was back in August so guys 
uh, my coaster building skills, especially on Planet Coaster, have been getting better, especially now. Um, I didn't even shorten the chain lift. The, you gradually go up to 40 degrees. On a normal coaster, you go, you go up, but I have no idea what I was doing here. Um, so I just decided to delete it because if you went down that hill, you would have had too much speed and that would just been really bad and then here again I try and go up 11 degrees um, at each time and it does actually lead you to the ground and it was a pretty good strategy because you only go into the ground just a tiny bit and then here I had no idea what to do so I decided to make this another big camel back like the beginning of the hill um, and so, there's your big camel back. You go back into the ground, which I still don't like. <laughs> um, then you go into this huge overbank turn, kind of like the first thing you do on Millennium Forces. But anyway, you decide to come back out of the ground. <sighs> There's so much stuff I would change about this. This coaster looks so cool, the, the first half of it. But here I decide, you know, why not give you some good air time. Um, I have two, two camel backs. I'm honestly not sure. I forget if they give you floater or ejector, or even flowjector maybe. Um, but those, th that's cool. It's almost like a near miss element. I don't know how close it really is. then I decide to turn you just a tiny tiny bit so you're in the center then you straighten it out there you go I love the train cars whenever they crash that's so funny on the ground but I've seen it so many times but anyway guys if you're watching this video on the day it was posted today is a Wednesday and so tomorrow, if everything goes to plan, I should be posting my Wisdom Teeth video. Um, I, I shouldn't say if everything's going to plan, uh, uh, but I should be posting my Wisdom Teeth video out tomorrow. If it's not out by tomorrow, it should be out next Thursday. I'm trying to post it on one of the Thursdays, uh, but you'll see why. I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, trying out different posting schedules see what I like and see see what's best so that's why my channel has been a little random but I've been posting a lot and a lot more consistently and with these mini series and even the wacky west I've been um, I've been posting kind of consistently at least with the series uh, but if you haven't checked out episode one definitely go do that I know I already said that and <clears throat> la on this past Saturday I posted a video and I posted another video, when, when was it? I'm not sure actually, I would have to go check. But anyway, I try and give you these, I try and make it a little more forceful, let you feel a little more positive G-force instead of negative G-force on the tops of airtime hills. But Helix is a good way to give you, you some good negative G-force, but Anyway, which this ride has kind of been airtime, bank turn-ish, airtime, airtime, helix type of thing. But you go kind of tiny bit too fast. As you can see, the um, fear and nausea is just through the roof. So that wasn't a good idea. So I take it back all the way to that bank turn. Don't know if that was really a good idea. I kind of like those camelbacks, but I just had to make them a little bit taller. I could have done that um, anyway. But then I decide to take you over here. Uh, and then you go through these bank turns. And this transition, I will say, is kind of weird. I must say, uh, watching this video again. And I put trims on this, which is also probably not the best. I could have done something totally different to do that. This half pretty cool should have made that a bang turn second chain lift totally pointless I could have had a run of a line of airtime hills uh, and then here you go into this 
I mean, it's a cool concept, but I think I should have saved it for another coaster, this, this second half part right here. Uh, then here, again, weird transitions. have no idea what's going on. Um, but that's, that's what I got for you guys so far. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Try and post in that video. Um, then again, I will see you on uh, Friday for episode 3, the final episode of this mini-series. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.